Well, hello there, this is Bakari Shaban with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video about a new iOS app for the iPhone called Arc Search. And uh, it, it was released yesterday and I woke up this morning uh, to see it and find out about it. And I just I downloaded it and I'm really, really liking this app. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to share how it looks if you don't know anything about it. So basically, this is what makes it different. It does, you know, regular, uh, you know, searches like on the web, like any other web browser. But let me show you a difference here. You tap on the search here at the bottom, and then you can go in and you add a search term. Uh, let's put in um, best, let's see, uh, best uh, Mac apps. Okay. Put them in there, and then best, okay, 2023. Now, what you notice here, is that we can do best Mac apps for productivity, for example. So it says here, browse for me. Now, basically, if you click, if you tap on here, just give you a regular browser uh, results, right? But if you watch what it does when it does browse for me, what it does here, and I did this before, I think. So what it comes up with is a summary of uh, search results from different web pages here. So you can scroll down and you see it gives you this information here. All right. It's sort of like an AI summary for a search and basically all that information is coming from let's go into the bottom it's coming from these web pages here and you can go in and you can you know tap on you know these particular links to go to the particular page there but again you have all these different summaries here which is really really neat and this is what makes it different here so we can also do another one let's say um best uh what is it best uh um Mac laptop or something. I'm just going on top of my head here. So best Mac laptop. Okay, do browse for me. And you see it goes through and does this thing. It does fairly quickly. And you get like a little haptic feedback as it does it, as you're waiting for it. And it takes a little bit to gather all the information. All right, so it may take about 10 to 15 seconds to get all the information here. And you just go through and you scroll down. Again, you see that. And, and it's, you know, it's constantly pulling information in, that's the reason why it takes a little longer than regular searches. So you don't have to go to these individual web pages in order to get this kind of information. All right. And then you have, your, you know, your different things here. And then, so then you can just also uh, tap on a particular page and you see that there you know, and you get the information. And let's see if we can also so some pages, you can also do a reader mode. So let's see, let's go back. So if you tap right here at the bottom, you get to see all the pages that you have searched for. And let's see, let's try another one. Uh, let's go to the bottom. And let's see, how about, uh, let's try this one here to see if we get a get a reader mode here. So you have the, you have the page here. Then we can go into the. Re I'm not sure some pages do not, you know, or not not working for the reader mode. But you have the reader mode, and you and it does really work. I I did have it work on a couple other pages. It looks really nice in the reader mode. And then you also can, uh, you know, do a search on a page. You can copy the URL. You can share it. You can also uh, favor it. And you also have some settings in here. You can go in block ads, that kind of thing, block trackers. And then also one of the things you can do is archive inactive tabs which is really nice that's the same thing you have on the mac um arc browser there it's like after after a day or a certain designated time i think you can do like you know, three days seven days 30 days it will delete or remove all the uh, inactive uh tabs there which is really neat because you don't have to go back and do those uh, manually there so that's basically how that works and then if you want to see your past pages again you just tap here you can go over here and get more information. So this is a really, really neat um, app, and it's free. Um, still, you know, like, like the Arc browser, it is still free. No subscription at all. You can go on the um, Mac App Store and download and try it out. I'm going to definitely put it on my homepage of my phone because I'm going to be using it regularly. So, again, you know, hope you like this app. Hope you like this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up. If this is the first time you're um, coming to my channel. Definitely give me a follow. I really want to hear back from you. Definitely, you know, just keep inspiring me to keep doing these videos every week. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.